I basically want these vlogs to be like for my friends and people that want to see what I'm up to. G'day, g'day. It's James here. Just thought I'd do a little bit of filming. This is my third day, I think, out on the road. Um, yeah, it is third. I wanna say. I don't know what the date is, but like, I feel like good points in your life are usually when you don't know what the date is. Um, anyway, so I was working on a, I was working on a song just then and I. Um, yeah, watch out, there's a huntsman on the door. <laughs> Chickens are so cooked. Um, so yeah, I, th I thought I might do kind of like a preliminary check on what my van looks like at the moment. I guess what my setup is like. I don't know why, I just, why not? Hey. I'm sort of like in the middle of renovating it. And um, I'm kind of mostly just winging it. And it seems to be working out for the most part, but I feel like there is some stuff that I've kind of estimated in the wrong way. Anyway, I'll see how it goes anyway. So. Um, this is my bike. I'm bringing my electric bike on my journeys. It's an awesome way to get around, so... So, this is the current setup. It's basically super utilitarian. That's my mattress, and it doubles as kind of like a seat thingy. This is going to be my sort of like work desk when I'm out on the road properly. Um, ideally, I should be able to just like sit here and kind of do work. I'm kind of a little worried because this I sort of have to bend down a fair way to you know do things but I feel like it'll be alright. There is definitely just shit everywhere right now so don't judge. This is like a very, very waterproof rain jacket. I swear to God, I'm actually wetter on the inside of this jacket than I am on the outside. <laughs> Whoa, big puddle. Totally, hey. It's like nature how it's meant to be or something. Yeah. It's been really nice just sort of getting away and spending time on my own, kind of doing my own thing. Seeing what my own thing is. I've also gotten pretty into crypto in the last like two weeks. Also another thing that happened in Bellingen that I forgot to kind of talk about was um, while I was there I met this guy named Jesse who helped me make this didgeridoo. He's like a kind of a professional maker of them. He doesn't usually do kind of making didge experiences but I kind of just rocked up to his house because he was a friend of a friend and I was kind of just like, I really want to make an instrument that I can fully connect to the ground and the earth with. Um, and yeah, he was keen. 
I traded my KRK6 studio monitors for the instrument and kind of the experience of doing it, which I'm glad about because I was trying to get rid of the speakers anyway, and ultimately they're just things, so um, yeah. So this, these lights are a campfire. <laughs> It'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, yeah. Animals. Animals. <laughs> <laughs>